So joining me in our session, Dynamics AX versus Dynamics 365 Finance and Operations reporting is Gail Dallin, who is a solution specialist in our Dynamics 365 Finance and Operations practice. Thank you for joining us today, Gail. I will pass it over to you. Thank you very much. Uh, as stated, my name is Gail Dallin. I'm a solution specialist with Encore Business Solutions working in the area of Dynamics 365 Finance. Today, I will identify the reporting tools that are available in Dynamics 365 FNO, discuss how they interact with the system, and identify how they can be modified. First, let's touch on a little jargon. SSRS, SQL Server Reporting Services. Most people have heard of that in the past, but it's good to identify the, the, the abbreviations. Electronic Reporting and Documents. This is the reporting tool within Dynamics 365 FNO. Views, Excel, the exportable grids in Dynamics 365 FNO, and we'll touch on that. Financial reports, previously known as Management Reporter, is your financial statement tool. Power BI Embedded and Power BI Desktop are the analytical tool for Microsoft. Uh, now let's jump into a little bit of uh, this, uh, of that was then and this is now. Your SQL database used to be on a server where a DBA could directly access and extract the data to build a report. SSRS has been the favorite reporting tool. You could build your query, then build the report on top of the query. In cloud-hosted environments, there is no direct access to the database. Therefore, how we access the data and build reports has changed. Electronic reporting and documents, um, the, the reporting tool in Dynamics 365 FNO, has started to replace some of the embedded SSRS reports in D365 FNO. Over the last several years, we have seen Office 365 and Microsoft 365 become much more closely integrated with all ERP systems, not just Microsoft. Let's take a look at the tools that are available in Dynamics 365 FNO. The first item that we're going to talk about is SSRS. It's still a very big part of Dynamics 365 FNO. SSRS has been around for years. The SQL Management Studio in conjunction with SSRS Report Builder and or Visual Studios have been the tools for creating and modifying reports. SSRS provided a platform for designing and reporting data directly from the SQL database. Many of the reports generated from D365 FNO are now generated using the SSRS engine. Cloud-hosted data cannot be directly accessed. So how we do a new report or modify an existing SSRS report has changed. Report development now occurs on a cloud-hosted virtual machine available through LCS. LCS stands for Lifecycle Services. Completed reports are delivered into production environments using LCS as well. Let's take a look. Many of you may be familiar with a SSRS or SQL reporting services portal like this. This is quite common with on-premise uh, environments, um, you know, and this is where a developer would deliver the report to you to access. Let's take a look at an SSRS report driven from Dynamics 365 FNO. I'm gonna run this transaction by date report and it's going to populate to screen in an SSRS report format. All right, here is our report. It's an SSRS report layout. And, um, you know, it's pretty standard. How do we access the, the cloud-hosted environments? Well, we go to our LCS, and from the menu up here, we do a drop down and access our cloud hosted environments. A developer of a report can then access the database directly from on the cloud hosted machine, develop their query and design their report. This one here is the one that I've 
um, created for purposes of this demo. Once the report has been completed, they can access the asset library and deploy the code for the report. Next item we're going to talk about is electronic reporting, the Dynamics 365 FNO reporting tool. Electronic reporting is more than just reports. It provides tools for the exchange of data, such as an import of a bank statement or the export and upload of a file. Microsoft provides a repository of commonly used formats. For modified formats, an organization named repository is created. There's often parameters set in the user interface that will trigger an electronic report off of a menu. The electronic report will usually have a designated export or viewer format like Excel or PDF. Let's take a look. From the electronic reports workspace, electronic reporting workspace, you can see that there's the two repositories. We have the Microsoft one and the organization named a repository. If I choose the Microsoft one, click on repositories, choose global and open. This will open up the list of all of the formats provided by Microsoft. If there's modifications required to any of these, then it would be hosted in your organization named repository. How these reports are called, we'll go take a look at the general ledger parameters page. Here we have the GL parameters page and on this main page down at the bottom, and this could vary from module to module where that's located, but down here we have electronic reporting. This general ledger by statement by main account is an electronic report format. When you initially set up your electronic reporting, this would be blank until you actually select from the repository the report that needs to be called here. Now let's take a look at the report as it's called from the menu. So we go menus, general ledger, inquiries and reports, general ledger statement by main account is the report delivered by electronic reporting. When I choose this, it will bring up the parameter page for generating the report. I click on OK and this report will open up in the determined viewer or Excel. In this case, it's Excel. I'll just take a moment, it downloads, open the file, and here we have the report in Excel. If we enable editing, then the user can actually uh, use this data for whatever purpose that they need. Let's close out of that. Next item that we're going to talk about is the views in Excel. Office integration, more specifically, Excel has been available in many versions and in many ERPs. In Dynamics 365 FNO, the ability to export to Excel is available on most views or grids. When security is in place, you may have the option to open data in Excel. This allows Excel to become a data entry vehicle or a tool for creating templates for the importing of data. Let's take a look. I'm going to go to all customers and this is a list or a grid view in Dynamics 365. In here we have all the customers that are available in this environment. Under the view settings here, I've created my own personal view here, which will change the, the, the columns as well as filter the data to what I want to look at. Up in the top right hand corner, I have the office icon. When I click on that, it gives me the drop down. I'm going to first export this to Excel, which becomes a standalone file of the filtered data that I've created. Right here is a preview of the file and I can choose to download or open it for editing. 
The other option here is to open in Excel. So we have open in Excel. I'm gonna choose customers. What this does is opens the table set for editing in Excel. I'm going to download the file and open it in the Excel application on my local machine. When I enable editing, it refreshes the query, the data will populate into the grid. We can see that the grid is quite different from what we've seen on the screen. Because it's opening the table set, it's actually bringing in all possible columns for that data. You can see that the data is now refreshed. And if I wanted to do an edit on one of these customer names or use this as a data entry vehicle, I'm going, to, you can. I'm gonna change the name on this Sparrow Retail to just have my initials at the end instead of the number one. Once you're completed your edits and there are the data upload that you wanna push back into the application, you click on publish and this will write back to the database. All right. I'm gonna close my Excel now, not save it, and close my browser version of Excel, go back to F and O. And I'm gonna refresh the screen Watch this Sparrow Retail. It's going to update to drop the one off the end of the name. That's how we can use the Excel, Open in Excel for editing data. Now let's talk about financial reports. Financial reports are your financial statements. They're clean, they're crisp, they look like a financial statement. You may, for, you may know this formally as management reporter. And before that, uh, FRX was a tool that was very similar. Reports are generated from Dynamics 365 F&O interface. The report parameters entered in the interface are passed through to the report designer, which generates the report. The generated report is viewed in the same browser where you generated it from. You can open previously generated reports from the list that's available. And if you need to edit the report, you choose the report format that you want to edit and click edit. This will open the report designer and allow you to edit the, the report definition and the building blocks. Once the edits are complete, the report is saved and then it's available in Dynamics 365 F&O for generation. Let's take a look at how this works. Back in Dynamics 365 f and I'm gonna to go to our general ledger and financial reports. Here's the financial reports that are available uh, in Dynamics 365 f and Here's the list of previously generated reports. I'm gonna choose this first one and click on view in the, in the menus here. This will open the previously generated report for viewing. These numbers are all have drill down capabilities so you can see the underlying information. If I needed to edit the layouts, I would click on edit here, which downloads and inst installs a temporary applet on your machine. This is the report designer. Once the report designer is opened, it populates with the report definition. The definition is all the building blocks that generate the, go together, work together, to generate your report. You have your row definition, which is your links out to your accounts. You have your column definition, which tells you how to lay out the columns. And if I was to do an edit on this and save it, once this is completed, it would be available back in here for generation. Now the fun stuff. Power BI Embedded in Desktop. Power BI Embedded is available on most workspaces in Dynamics 365 f and You'll find the embedded Power BI at reports as analytics for the workspace. Power BI reports uses the entity store where the data is refreshed on a schedule. If the Power BI reports were to go directly to the database, you would find that there would be performance issues. So the entity store enables more effective use of the data. Embedded Power BI reports do not require additional licenses for viewing the data. If you're an F&O user, you have access to the reports. 
The embedded reports can be downloaded from LCS and opened in Power BI Desktop. Power BI Desktop will require additional licensing for viewing and editing the report. Power BI Desktop can leverage the Entity Store as a starting point for many reports. A Power BI Desktop user can design their own report and then connect additional sources of data to the report. Let's take a look at it. So I like to go to the customer credit and collections uh, workspace because it has a nice use of the analytics on there. When you first land on the workspace, you have a couple of analytics straight, out, straight away, but the one that is really interesting is the analytics for all companies. Now, when you first open this, Power BI is engaged and it will take a moment to open up, but you'll see the Power BI that icon come up and then it'll populate the data. So this is a full-on embedded Power BI report in Dynamics 365 F and O. If you click anywhere on the report, it will filter the data, and in some cases where configured, it will drill back to the data set, the data underlying in, in, in the records. Now this same report, like I said, can be downloaded from uh, LCS so that it can be used in conjunction with uh, Power BI Desktop. So I'm going to jump over to LCS and show you how we can actually get to it. From the asset library, we have Power BI report model. I've done it a few times, so there's a few reports that I've already pulled down. But if I one of the reports that I found in FNO was not in the list here, I can import from the list of all the metrics that are published for Dynamics 365 FNO. The one that I've downloaded is the credit and collection so that we can compare it in the desktop, the same as what we have in the user interface. When I click on this, it will download, and when I open it, it will open in Power BI desktop on my local machine. I have it open here, and you can see that this is the same report that we had displayed inside of Dynamics 365 F and O. It's interactive, so when I click on different objects, it will filter the data. Oh, looks like I got an issue on here. This report needs to be fixed up. It could be something with the data connection or it could be something with the format of Power BI Desktop. Either or, not, not really relevant to the demo here, but it is the same report that we saw in Dynamics 365 FNO. When it comes to reporting, often it's the right tool for the right job. SSRS is still there. It's familiar. It has a static format. It's really good for reporting transactional data. Electronic reporting is the new, or well, maybe new. It's the reporting tool built into Dynamics 365 FNO. It's good for dynamically populating forms and can be used for importing and exporting document information. Excel, the office integration, it can be used for exporting filtered data, user filtered data, or it can be used for data collection. Financial reports, they're your financial statements. And Power BI embedded or desktop uh, is great for reporting analytics for workspaces and external viewing. My contact information is on this slide. If you have any additional questions, please reach out to me. I'll do my best to answer it or steer you in the right direction. I invite each of you to reach out to your Encore representative to discuss your reporting needs. Our team will guide you through selecting the correct tool and assist you with the development of your reports. Thank you for spending your time with me today. That was awesome. Thank you, Gail. Uh, Gail's contact information is on that side, so please feel free to reach out to him or to your account manager if you have any questions from today's session. Thank you, everyone.